Perfect. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from criticologos.com, Alicia, Sonia. Thank you for taking your time again to talk about the season. I was here for season one. I, I'm glad that I could be here for season two. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sonia, let's talk about PIPA. PIPA is going through a lot, and, and there's a there's a really sensitive, tough subject that we cannot dive into, and it's tough to dive into. But I, I wonder, I know, obviously, this, uh, there's, we're still dealing with this in Procedure 1, but PIPA, this is a subject that a lot of people can relate to, and it's, not, it's also difficult to open up to anyone about it. And, and I wonder what, what, what type of advice would you give them to those people that, not only women or men, anyone that would relate to that situation, what type of advice would you give them? Oh wow, um, that's a that's a good question. I don't know that I'm necessarily in a place to give anybody advice about that. It's so specific to like who you are and like what you're going through. But um, yeah, I I just would hope that people have at least one person that that they feel that they can connect to and talk to. Um, yeah. Well, maybe. If 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 maybe if people would be in 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 their shoes, what would people tell them? <laughs> um, yeah, I think I I mean I don't know. Pippa's really not processing what's happening to her, and so I mean realistically, if there was a scene in which Pippa was talking to someone, she would probably shut down and pretend it wasn't happening. But I think, yeah, I think that we see the most oh. of Pippa when she's having a moment to connect to somebody. And we mostly see her struggling to not be able to do that. And so, and I think that causes her a lot of pain. Yeah. Um, I, you mentioned something about reaching out to to to, to people and like how important that's to in any situation. And I see all through the season, um, Diana and people are trying to reach out to each other. I I I find it I find, I love that because we reach out, but we don't reach out. We we always try to get there. So I wonder, and this is an open question for the two of you. What was what would be something about the relationship that you have you I guess would have loved to expand upon in an, any upcoming season? Uh Alicia, you first. Yeah, I think um with Diana and Pippa's relationship, just laying it all on the table which i don't think that any character really does but and i think that like where you see them in 2015 they probably have had those conversations um just being really honest about everything that happened like up into like up to the point where they did become friends and then you know everything afterwards um but like seeing that on screen would be really nice i think because like we never we never get that um, and, you know, Pippa confronts Diana at, like, at least a couple times, you know, saying, like, Stephen's, like, a bad guy, and I never validate her. Um, so that would also be nice to see that, too. Like, Diana, like, coming to terms with that, with Pippa's help, being like, yeah, you're right. Like, he is a really bad guy. So, yeah, something like that. Um, would you repeat the question again? Yeah, no. Uh, if they're, 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 you obviously, Diana and people are always uh, reaching out to each other, but we never see them reach out to each other completely. What was something of the relationship that you wanted to expand upon, or you have loved to expand upon in the story? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think there is a really rare thing in that they're they are making these like very genuine uh, reaches towards each other and. Um, it's fascinating to watch it continually misfire. And the fo the few moments when it does connect, it's like very, It I think it kind of jars them both. And I think it's very, I think it'll be fun to continue if we, like, if we go back for season three to watch that happen, because clearly at some point they really do connect. Um, and to see how they find that, I think will be very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, Alicia, and you just, you mentioned something regarding this question right now, but I maybe expand on it. Um, why is it why Diana is sort of refuses to see the the reality behind Stephen, who Stephen is, his true colors? Why is he, she's so reluctant? Obviously, we we don't, we don't want to spoil her, but why is it throughout the season she's always so reluctant to see the true colors of Stevens? I think that she's in denial, and I think that Diana is someone who does not fail. 
And, you know, recognizing faults in her partner would be a massive failure. Someone that she's been with for years and has like invested so much like time and resources in. And I think she truly loves him. You know, she like, she truly, truly loves and is in love with someone. And it's those like rose colored glasses. And also thinking that like he has the potential to change. Um, yeah. But like she knows that he's rough around the edges, but those edges can be smoothed out, you know, by her, obviously. So, Perfect. yeah. <laughs> That's time for me. Thank you again for taking the time to the series. Congratulations once again. Thank you so Thank much. You.